Hi guys, it's Kate Borland and this video is going to walk you through how to compare and contrast different themes on your GoDaddy website builder site. One of the biggest, the most commonly asked questions I get from my clients when they've you know, used GoDaddy is, how do I look at different themes? I don't like any of the themes that they are suggesting for my business. And it's not really intuitive or easy to figure out, but I'm gonna show you how I do that in this real quick video. But first, what I wanna, sh I wanna kind of give an overview of why GoDaddy does what it does. When you choose a theme for GoDaddy, what GoDaddy has done is they're ta they've taken a look at everybody in your industry and they've said, these are the kinds of questions. These are the colors that are common. This is what someone, when they land on your website, expects to see and feel because your website is as much about how people feel when they land on it as it is about what you're selling. So there's there's two kinds of messages. There's one that's more of emotional, and then there's the actual brain part where people are actually reading what you have to say and the cognitive part where they're reading and deciding whether or not they're going to do business with you. Um, so they're just using best practice. So what's what they use for, suggest for a massage therapy site such as this one, is going to be very different than what they suggest for a Mexican restaurant or an auto repair shop or a carpet cleaner or a service provider. Um, so, but, so that kind of gives you the overarching view and what you're really looking for is the content, the layout that is there. Do you like a big banner across the top? Do you like, you know, what kind of call to action do you like? What kind of elements and, you know, do you, and sections, what kind of information is going to be included in your site? And GoDaddy does its best to try and pre-populate with the right sections so that you really can get a website up and running very, very quickly but sometimes you wanna change it. So let's pop in and show you how to do that. So this is a test site that I have and I'm gonna go ahead, it was set up for someone in the massage therapy industry. And we're gonna go ahead and look at some different themes and show you how to go about doing that. So the, the, this video is appropriate for someone who has already installed the theme for the first time and you wanna figure out how do you make changes to it because you wanna look at other themes and other layouts. So here I am in this, I don't know why this is here. This is not where I wanna be. Here is the uh, website as it's installed right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to music. Um, and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna completely change out the site. I'm gonna take my mouse up over to the right hand side into the control panel, and I'm gonna click on settings. So you have website, theme, and settings. Websites where you control the pages, theme is where you control the colors, and settings is pretty much where you control everything else that on the back end of the website, what's, what's behind the site that, that Google sees but you don't necessarily see or your visitors don't see. So we're gonna go down to, and click on settings, then I'm gonna go to site history. And now you can see all of the different, obviously this site has been I'm used a couple of times, so we're going to see all of the different weight places that we can restore. So I can just choose to restore any of these past installations if I want. But in this case, what I want to do is I want to compare and contrast. So it's telling me it was last updated on 626 at 442 p.m. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to right click over here. There's these three little dots. I'm going to click on those. I'm going to rename this theme and I'm going to rename it Massage Therapy. Okay, so now I have Massage Therapy. So then I go to Reset Website, Yes, Start Over, and I'm gonna look for something in the wedding industry because that's what we're gonna do today. And now I can see there's wedding, wedding cakes, wedding chapel, wedding store, wedding venue, wedding service. Um, for this case, I'm just going to click wedding venue. Um, well, I'm going to do that just for the, for the purpose of this. And we're going to call this wedding theme. 
but I'm going to name it what it is. I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to use this theme and that's fine. And you can have your different choices that you want. You know, it's going to give you all the different looks and feels. So now I've installed this theme that I want to look at. I'm going to go back to settings. It's not published yet, but I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to go to site history. See, I've got this right here. And I'm going to rename this one. No, this is interesting. This is 202. We'll change the theme. I'm going to rename this one to rename, highlight that, wedding theme. Hit return. So now I've got massage therapy here. I don't know. I'm interested to see what this one restores us. because I've not done that before. So this restores me back to the massage therapist site because that was what was last um, done, but that's fine. Um, so now I'm gonna hit resettings. I'm gonna go back to site history. I'm gonna reset the website again. Yes, start over. And now I'm gonna choose wedding venue. Not wedding venue, I'm gonna choose um, Wedding service. Next. Call it wedding service. Next. You choose this theme just because that's what you need. And you're going to be able to do the exact same thing every time you load a theme. You can take a look at the layouts that you like. Um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and just all I'm doing is showing you how to make the edits and how to change so that you can look at different themes. So now I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to go to site history again. I'm going to choose this. The, the one on top is the most current theme. It's always going to be what's loaded on your website right now. I'm going to click the three little dots. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this wedding service. So last time it was wedding theme. This is wedding service theme. Oops. All right, so I've got wedding service theme, I've got wedding theme, I've got massage therapy. Unfortunately, it saves every time, so you're going to have, there's going to be a few of the, the dates, you know, today at 204, just ignore those, and you're going to be able, when you go back to compare, you will just restore based on one of these names. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to reset the website. I'm going to start over. And this time I'm going to choose music. Oops. Uh, let's look at musicals. Let's just look musical. Right, and again. And, you know, for the purposes of com comparing and contrasting, I would put in the name, actual name of the theme style that you're comparing so that you have a you can duplicate it if you ever needed to but i'm going to click next so here i am again this is not even close to what we're looking for for this particular person that i'm doing this for um but that's okay we'll um i'm just going to put this here i'm going to choose this one because i can scroll down and say this is what i like and so now here we are. So I've got this particular theme that has been chosen. And I'm going to go back over to settings. I'm going to go to site history. I'm going to right click the three little bars. I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it musical. I think that's what it was called. And then we're just going to click that to save it. So now I want to restore. I want to look at I've chosen four that I'm interested in. They're all different, obviously. So now I want to restore the wedding service theme. So I can do it. I don't have to go searching. So you can pick the three or four that you like. So here I am with the wedding services theme. And then I 
say I don't want to like, like that. I want to look at the other another other ones that I've installed. I'm just going to keep going back to site history, um, and we're going to look at wedding theme. I'm going to restore that. So that's the simplest way to keep yourself from having to go back and forth. Actually, all the way back and restart to the you know resetting it and reinstalling everything and not knowing what is what. Just install a few themes, name them, and then restore them until you find that layout that you happen to like. So hopefully that answers the questions for anyone in terms of how to compare and contrast different themes so that you can find the right theme for your business on your GoDaddy website, Builder website. Comment below if you have any questions, and I appreciate you watching this video.